All right, y'all, it's Saturday, um, July 7th or 6th, no, July 6th, third quarter, 2024. So we're near the end game of, you know, uh, ending this little consolidation pullback phase before we go into a parabolic bull run. In my honest opinion, only because I'm looking at patterns in history we've seen before, we had this hesitation at a previous all-time high pullback consolidation. Looks like we pulled back pretty good, almost like a double top from uh, the neckline of a humongous inverted head and shoulders, which uh, I've been keeping close track on for a while. And, um, you know, this breakout should be violent when it happens. So I hope you're preparing for it. Looks like that pullback too was, uh, if you look at it, if you look at it probably like on a four hour chart, it's about a 618 retrace, which is a golden retrace. That's a great area for value and picking up some uh, cheap Bitcoin sub $60,000. So I'm not upset about Bitcoin going under $60,000 because I know this, this is a value area from what I see on the charts. But uh, yeah, would you trade it? Would I trade it? I haven't traded in a while uh, because I've been very focused on just acquiring and accumulating because I want to ride all that appreciation up uh, once this uh, banana run begins to happen. So I'm focused on that. Okay. But um, if you are so inclined to trade, check out Bybit if you're in a country that allows you to have a Bybit account. I have a link down in the description for that. Almost election time in the U.S. And so uh, when election time comes... Uh, presidents, or not presidents, whoever you want to call them, these are men who have cult-like following on both ends, and they're going to make these promises that they're probably not going to keep. But there's one promise that I'm still entertained by and I'm looking forward to is this Bitcoin and cryptocurrency pro blockchain, pro digital asset uh, campaign uh, push by Donald Trump and he's been talking about protecting Bitcoin make sure Bitcoin holders have the protections and and legal rights that they uh, that you know just just a part of their rights being able to custody it so with that being said I'm looking forward to that part I think that was something that was to come because of the fact that there's just a lot of money, a lot of development happening um, around Bitcoin. Financial institutions want the to hold the Bitcoin as a commodity. We see all these ETFs proliferated from different countries, from Thailand, uh, China, or Hong Kong, whatever. Uh, I think we got some in South America, from what I've seen. Of course, in the U.S., so these are they're popping up. These ETFs, these uh, these financial instruments, exposing investors to uh, Bitcoin as a commodity, and um, I think that's a big thing. I focus on Bitcoin a lot because that's the one that I believe in most. Everything else, I kind of see it as short-term speculation. Bitcoin, I kind of see that as um, wealth or inheritance that sh would, would will be felt by my children's children if. If I'm lucky enough to see that. So that's what I think is the good thing right now. Other than that, tell me what you guys think. Um, keep this a short video, but I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, probably turn around. Yeah, tell me what you guys think. I'm gonna keep this a short video, but other than that, just making sure that um, you're prepared for these times in this uh, climate. You know, we got uh, jobs that have are slowing. Jobs being added to the U.S. is slowing. The economy is slowing. Inflation is still ripping. Debt still at all-time highs. The consumer's probably getting his ass kicked. Um, <laughs> probably getting their butts kicked right now. And um, not able to afford even Bitcoin at prices sub-60. Best bets probably to try to just still get pieces of it, right? Acquire it. Even acquire some non-KYC just as a, a sovereignty move. 
a boss move because you never know when you have to pick up and leave a country. Bitcoin is travel money. It is uh, a sovereign's man's wealth. So if you're able to acquire something on KYC as well, that's just only adding to your to your war chest to be sovereign. Uh, try to take a look at uh, hodlhodl.com if you're looking for a place to get some non-KYC Bitcoin. Um, they do a good job. I've been using them for probably about, I want to say about two, about two years now I've been using them. So try to take a look at that. Links down in the description for that. Also, some really good hard wallets to self-custody your Bitcoin. Because again, as I talked about, they are trying to um you know these these candidates are wanting to back bitcoin and protect self-custody so you want to be on that side right you want to be kind of you want to have a horse in the race when it comes to the successor for the uh leader of the free world whoever that may be, and likely it's going to be Trump based on what we've been seeing in these election, uh, these debates or the debate most recently. And so uh, if that's the case, you're in the right spot. You know that you got a person who's talking about protecting your custody and your assets. So you want to acquire those very assets that he's going to build. He's going to help lay down some groundwork, laws, rules for something that's such nascent, a nascent technology such as uh, the greater cryptocurrency ecosystem, right? Still kind of like a, un, it's still a lot of uncertainty to me when it comes to the altcoins and how they're gonna play a role. I mean, uh, outside of the whole ETF, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, commodity thing, I'm not too sure how everything else will play out, but uh, you know, I think they got a plan for it. So um, other than that, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely protect yourself. So anyway, guys, I'm just doing a post-meal walk. And I'm probably not going to do too much today because uh, once you kind of do a little traveling, um, you've seen other parts of the world that you that you like more than the parts where you're normally from. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of benefits. in other countries too that might fit you best and in the u.s is a great place to make your money to um you know because you still have people from other countries coming here to make their money to acquire fiat and you take that fiat because it's worthless and you convert it into a hard scarce asset desirable asset like bitcoin make that the core of your portfolio and then you kind of build everything around it if you want kind of like a moat to protect king bitcoin you know other ways you want to kind of supplement subsidize your lifestyle with your investments you know you know then that's probably why i would look at diversifying if only to protect bitcoin and to and to for me to put it in a position where i'm able to hold on to it forever all right guys it's a hot one today i'm gonna get at y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments peace out